Caddis Maximus here. This time, just a quick little review because I've been on a learning experience with these USB testers. I've actually gone up from super basic ones, such as this performance tool, where it just displays the amps and the volts. Real simple. I did a review of this Klein here, which I liked a little bit better just because it's easier to read. And it's a neat little dot matrix one and it counts off the milliamp hours. And it's a little bit of a more durable package. And Klein has a heavier duty one than that. But I still had always seen these really neat color ones. So I picked this up. This is the AT35. It's about the best one that's in one of these small compact key style or USB memory stick style. There are other ones like a big plus style one and some multi fancy multi-layer circuit board ones. But I like the idea of this compact one. And it does actually come with this uh, special <laughs> resistor based uh, load cell, which is pretty dangerous. It's one of the reasons I'm making this video. If you get this set, these resistors, these things get like 300 degrees. I mean, they'll give you second degree or th third degree burns after it's been sitting for just a minute or two. So that's the warning. The worst part about this is, is this switch doesn't actually turn this load on and off. As soon as you plug it in, you get a little red light. I'm not going to leave it plugged in because those things get super hot. These are wire around ceramic resistors. It has a light to let you know it's active. The switch actually just goes from half one resistor or two resistors, but this thing is absolutely dangerous and will burn people. And they should have included a warning label or some kind of cover for it. Buy more after this thing. This thing has a pretty cool display. I like how compact it is. It, this is supposed to be con, uh, USB 3.0, compatible with all the quick charge standards. So you shouldn't have any issue there. I like that actually, surprisingly enough, this plastic cover fits on reasonably tight. Turn off the light so you can see this a little bit easier. Plug this in, and this is the one I was always really into, is these dot matrix full color screen version. So the color's a little bit off because it's in this blue case, but this one's really pretty much the best one just because you've got the full color display, super high resolution, much higher resolution than the Klein. It also has, a, interestingly enough, and I don't know if the temperature sensor is integrated right into the plastic here or if it's just kind of relying on conduction and the temperature sensors inside, but it's kind of interesting that it attempts to tell you how hot the uh, charger is. It has a button in the menu system where you can change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius, remember some modes, even flip the screen upside down through a single button on the back. If you just short press, then what that button attempts to do is determine uh, what type of charging method like this would be uh, by default, it switches to Apple. I wonder if you can get better focus. If, oh, you can with the light on, although the co color is <laughs> a little bit off. The yellow looks awfully close to the green. That's what I mean by the blue thing. So this thing is pretty neat. For instance, if we plug in our dangerous little load cell here, immediately jumps up. It does change. Oh, it went from DCP back to uh, app. And that's all this thing really does. It just happens to be much cooler because it takes off just a bit more bits of information. Let's plug in something a little bit safer, such as maybe an actual cell phone here. We'll plug in a Samsung to see if it figures out that we are using a Samsung. Plug in the phone. I have this set to uh, short charge. And... It's kind of interesting, this quick charge detection mode doesn't quite work perfectly, that's for sure, because it still says, quote-unquote, Apple. But nonetheless, it's kind of a neat idea. So anyway, that was just a short little video of this AT35. It's one of the most popular ones on Amazon. It was like 12 bucks. and as far as these little USB testers are concerned, this is probably one of the best ones. You actually get a better view on the camera, because this screen... I mean, it's the size of my thumb. It's super high resolution and really not just in pixel density, but so you get down to the single millivolt reading and you get down to 100 nano amps in the current. So it's very accurate. And then, of course, it measures the resistance, current output wattage, as well as the milliamp hours and the milliwatt hours that it's actually delivered in total. And I just think the temperature thing is kind of neat, too. This was the kind of display that I was really kind of hoping the Klein would have, although 
the display that the client currently uses is pretty easy to read and so i will give them credit for that just because uh after getting this color one which is you know pretty good that this Klein in many situations probably is a little easier to read just to determine if you have some bad cables or maybe a bad charger but as far as fanciness on a compact one pretty hard to beat this unit just because it's just so darn neat to have that color display so anyway I just wanted to uh, share this with you all and say really after reviewing the Klein and this cheesy PT one that I shouldn't have never done I would recommend this little AT35 kit. It was just super cheap at like $12 or something. Even though this, this, oh, I mean, I plugged it in for a few seconds and this thing is still burning hot. A very dangerously hot USB load. Nonetheless, at least it comes with a little load. So if maybe your charger seems to put out a good voltage, but then once you actually load it up, it starts to have issues. That's really what the important thing is for this. And then secondly, this USB tester really is about as compact as they get for one of those screens. I mean, it's quite a bit smaller than this performance tool in multiple dimensions. And obviously, it's much more compact than the Klein, even though the Klein does have a whip, which makes it easier to plug in. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you all. I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.